getting away with that truck. After them. Stop this truck. That was a very bad place to fall. It could have been worse. I jumped just as the truck went over the edge. The men who were fighting with you in the truck? They're still alive. I saw the guard pulling the driver who was gassed out of the cab. The police? They'll get the hijackers and the truckload of silk. Come on. When I finally broke the carbs they had me tied with, I was going to call the police when I heard a siren and along they came. Yes, Michael. As soon as I escaped, I called the police and told them to go out to the farmhouse. Well, that's another racket smashed. Uh, you know, there's just one thing that troubles me. When I finally got my eyes open, this was in front of me. The seal of the Green Hornet. That's odd. Odd, you say? I gory, it's magic. Yes. Yes, all right. I guess we can depend on those truckmen. Sure, they don't know a thing. Our agent across the border is waiting for a consignment of six, eight, and 12-cylinder motors for the equipment of mechanized units. We can't buy service motors unless we make a statement of their destination. We're not going to buy them. We're going to collect them. We won't get away with it if this rag the Sentinel continues to interfere. Did you read that? Bordeen, you talk too much and do too little. You were detailed to take care of Britt Reed months ago. I'd have got him, too, if the Green Hornet hadn't interfered. Yes, that's right. The Green Hornet. A lone wolf who plays your own game and makes monkeys out of all of you. Oh, oh yes. That's enough. Now for the getting of these motors. It's got to be done efficiently and quickly. And finished before the police can organize to combat it. I have here a list of recent purchases of motors of the type we need. With duplicate keys to the door and ignition of their cars. Okay, send it Lowry, please. Yes, sir. Chief wants you, Lowry. This your yarn, Lowry? Yep. Fresh from police headquarters. Boss, that gang struck in every corner of town at the same time. Twenty cars disappeared before the police were even on the move. Well, what do they say down at headquarters? Oh, the usual thing. Arrest expected any minute. Evidently, this is the work of the crime syndicate. The fact that only certain types of cars were stolen indicates that they were wanted for some particular purpose. That's right. I'm going to list the missing cars up to an hour ago. Good. So you think your new car is as fast as the Green Hornet? As fast as it? Sure, I'll overhaul that murdering bandit like his jalopy was tied to a hitching post. <laughs> Come on out with me now and take a spin. I'll prove it to you. Sorry, man of action. I have work to do. Well, tomorrow then. Okay. If it isn't stolen by then. Of course, you know what's happening to a lot of new cars, don't you? Take my word for it, Casey. The Green Hornet is behind these car stealings. And it is Michael Axford who will be right on his heels. Mm
Sullivan's men outside. Bring them in. Hello, Agus. Hi. You know Bardeen? How are you? Hello. You guys are overdoing this car stealing racket. Why try to get them all at once? Special order for a certain type of motors. That's why we're here. A lot of the owners of these motors we're after have to be customers of yours. Oh, I don't want any part of it. After all, my racket here is safe. Drinking, dancing, gambling. We're leaving careless customers of their fat wallets. Listen, Hakus. Krogan didn't put you in this dump to run it your way. I told you Krogan wanted help. Now, if we can't get it from you, we'll make arrangements to take this layout over. Well, as fellas, I was just kidding. After all, anything Krogan wants done... That's better. We'll put a couple of our men here tonight to pick up the cars we want. Your job will be to see that the customers don't make a discovery in time to squawk. Sure, the car would do a hundred if you hadn't squawked. If I hadn't squawked, you wouldn't have a car by now. <laughs> All right, Casey. Now, just to keep peace in the family, I'd buy you a drink of soda pop. Agus isn't the right man to run a place like this. No, he's got no nerve. I'm surprised the chief put him in charge. What's the matter? Who are those men? Two of the murdering thugs that tightened me up at Miss Grayson's house. Oh, sure, if I didn't have you here, I could bag them both. I'm sure you could, Michael. Well, we better report this place to Reed. Come on. But, Reed, I tell you, I am right. It was two of the outfit we met up with at the Grayson house. And they were saying that the boss was making a mistake to let this fellow Haggis run the joint. Haggis? You mean the guy that runs a nightclub on the Camden Road? Sure, that's the place. You know him, Laurie? I know the place. But that club angle is just a front for the undercover gambling. Sounds like the place needs looking over. Michael, suppose you and I go out there tonight. Well, they'll spot you two as reporters and you won't find out anything. Why don't you take me with you and we'll look like real customers? <laughs> sure, Casey wants to step out in the nightlife. That's a very good idea, too. Case, Michael will call for you at 9 o'clock tonight. I'll be wearing a tuxedo. Yes, sir. And that goes for you, too. Oh, for <laughs> that. All right, Reed. Casey's down in the car. I'll be right down, Michael. You understand what you're to do, Cato? Yes, sir. Let's go. Remember, you're not going to a fire. I... Seat and keep out of sight. Miss Case and I are going to look around. All right, sir. Quick, 
Garrett Reed just drove up. He's going to the club right now with a girl. Great. This is just the chance we've been waiting for. He mustn't leave here alive. We've got to take care of Reed's car, Dolan. Well, that won't be so easy. Mike Axford is watching it. Like a den of thieves. Looks like a respectable place. That's what it's supposed to look like. Two, please. We've got to order so we'll look like customers. Jerry's serving them at a table near the door. We can't do anything out there. Have him paged. Tell him he's wanted on the phone in here. Hey, what are you going to do? Go on, and have him paged. Shall we dance? Why not? All for Mr. Reed. All for Mr. Fred Reed. Here. Telephone call, Mr. Reed. The phone's in the office over there. Thank you. I'll be right in. Will you excuse me for a moment? I don't like this. Nobody knows you're here. Yes, Cato knows. I'll be right back. He's coming. The girl went outside. Come in, Mr. Reed. Phone's right here. Thank you. Hands in the air, Reed. Stay where you are. What's the meaning of all this? Shut up. See if he's got a gun. What's the case, eh? Come inside, quick. I think Mr. Reed's in trouble. Get in the car, sister. If you scream, you're finished. Come on, get going. You interfered with us for the last time, Reed. Can't be as bad as that. There are too many people in there for a killing. There isn't going to be any killing here. Where's your car? Up by the rear door. All right. Get her over. You know, I came prepared for trouble. One of my men's waiting outside. Mike Axford and your secretary have been taken away from here a while ago. You seem to have planned this very well. You plan everything well. Here's the rope. All right, time up. Good time up. <laughs> Mr. Britt. They've carried off Case and Axford. Carried off? Where? The Green Hornet has to find out. I'll force one of them to show me where they've taken Case and Axford. We'll go in this car? No, I'll go in one of theirs. You follow. I understand. escape means to us. He'll get the police. No, no, he won't. Reed won't dare make a move against you as long as we've got Axford and the girl. You got him safe. Where were they taken? To the warehouse where we're packing the motors. And Axford goes out of there in a box when we ship him. We'll hold the girl to bring Reed to terms. You can do what you like with the big Irishman. He's given me plenty of trouble. But I'm cutting in on those stolen motors. The Green Hornet! Lower your voice. Now, where are those motors? Talk fast. All right, Hornet. I'll talk. Now, you're going to answer my questions. Oh, don't shoot. I'll tell. The motors are in a warehouse down on Grant Street. All right, start moving. Where? To your car. We're going to that warehouse. Ship tonight. What about these explosives? They go in the other truck. Somebody from the chief. What's this? A couple of snoopers to be taken care of. Lock the door.
This is Grant Street. Where's the warehouse? Six blocks down, on the left side of the street. Hey, Dolan. Run this truck in the shed and bring in the red one. We'll load these cases of explosives. Why don't you try doing some work yourself sometime? Get going. There'll be another box aboard that red truck. Go on, get over there, Irish. You dirty mug, turn the girl loose or I'll... The girl will be taken care of. Open up. It's the police. The police? Open up. 